Jill asks for Victoria's help planning a social gathering. Jill is going to have a party, and she's going to invite some of her doggy friends around. I thought that we could pick out some doggy things. Little doggy favors? Yeah. So I'm going to have food for the adults, but I thought it would be nice to have something for the kitties, for the little children. This is the no Upper place. East Side Chic Dog Store, where they have everything for yeah, every price point. We have the salon in the back in case Ginger wants to get all dolled up for the add... party tomorrow. Bling, 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 bling. So these are necklaces for dogs? Yeah, these are necklaces for dogs. Yeah, this will look good on Ginger. She's letting you touch her. How about, like, some toys? Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you interested? I love this New York party life. <laughs> Could we have those? Okay. Those. Okay. Yes. The best store. Thank, Thank you. Hey, yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. It's yes. great to meet you, yes, too. I hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, and I'm looking forward to this party. Wait till you see what he puts together. <laughs> Jill and Ginger's next stop is an even more exclusive doggy destination. I go out with Jill to see some of the places she visits on a regular basis, and one of them is a jewelry store. Jerry! Jill, how are you? You look beautiful. We're Jerry Con Jeweler. She's one of my closest girlfriends. If you really look at the it details is. of the store, everything's pug. Here, Delicious. look at the pug diamond ring. Pug diamond. Jill shops in this jewelry store on a regular basis. It's nothing to buy a few diamond bracelets. How much would something like that go for? Um, this ring is $7,500. That is the cutest thing ring? Try it on, I've ever oh, no. seen. I should well, make maybe one for you. you. Yeah, I, I think you need to make Isn't it clear. beautiful? Oh, and we make them with brown diamonds, and we make them with black diamonds. This I happens to be black and white. Do you do chihuahuas? Of course. We do all breeds. She is a crazy dog lover, even worse than me, and has these two beautiful pugs, um, and one has a special talent. He sings. <gasps> Can I hear? He sings, I love you. Oh, you want to sing? OK. You're going to die. OK. I love you. I love you. I love you. What a good boy. I've seen a few singing dogs, but man, can that pug sing. I love you. Before the party begins, Victoria wants to tackle Ginger's antisocial greeting behavior. Ginger won't let anybody in the house when the doorbell rings. It's a big problem. I'm going to have somebody ring the doorbell. And immediately, she does that. So if you could go stand over there. OK. Back. I've told her to go back. She's now back in your bedroom. Stay. Hello. Come in. Whenever Ginger hears the doorbell, she needs to sound the alarm. Someone's coming. And that's fine for a dog to do their job. But then it's time for the owner to take over. I claim the space by body blocking her and telling her to go back. She listens to me. She's she actually did gone listen. away now. I, I can't believe you made her go away and stop working. Yeah. Now it's Jill's turn. Do it with your front body. Back. Good job. Stay there. Hi, Nicole. Come on in. She comes forward. You tell her to go back again. Come on in. Thank you. Have a seat. Good. Now mark the fact she's not barking by good telling girl. her, good girl. Good girl. The door training's been successful, but Jill has got to reinforce this again and again and again and again. Can you do this training? It's pretty simple. Yeah. You can, you, you see how, yeah, what yeah. you've got to do. Totally. All right. Now that Jill has all the tools for Ginger's door behavior, the party okay. can begin. Getting ready for the party. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh my god, I knew you'd make it. Oh, good girl. Wow, this is gigantic. I've never seen such a big package oh, before. She's having a big party today. These are some organic treats we can put on a, on a platter yeah. and stuff. Jill's world. Well, it's absurd. Ginger wants to wear a party hat. Figured, you know, she's a princess, right? She is a princess. <laughs> she is a princess. I'll take a picture of her. It's a totally different vibe here on the Upper East Side in New York City. I can tell you. Oh, I know you like toys. Jill has such a social life with people coming to the apartment, but that's a lot of pressure on Ginger. Everything is in place, but the party girl is in no mood to greet her guests. Who's there? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Hold on. Everything I told you. Very good. Nice. Nice. And then what do you tell? What do you tell guests? Don't touch Ginger. Let her sniff you, but do not put your hands on her. 
Victoria, this is my sister. Hi, so, lovely to meet you. People who own dogs think that all other dogs are going to love them. It's up to Jill to be able to tell her friends how they need to react around her dog. Hi! She came over. Thank you. So, Ginger. No, just ignore her. Ignore her. Okay. Ignore Ginger. You ignore Ginger. Let's see what happens. Where is One of the friends was trying to play with her and shoving a toy into her face. The dog. See? That was for that, no reason. That again. No, it was for it. a reason. Because I didn't you see were, it. She was, she, you were looking at her, and that was right. too much for her to. That's, that's why I say. It's not okay to do that. It's not okay to do, but you need to tell your guests that literally no contact. But well, look at this dog. She can't cope with it, but she's different from this dog. Jill's such a social person, but an owner needs to understand what their dog needs. She hurt you? No. She didn't get Sorry, you. she scared you, though. But this it is scary. scary. But I think that's really important that you really have to tell guests as soon as they come in. Don't go near her. Don't, don't, go, don't even, even try look and play with her. Just wow. go. Do I give them some treats? Not, not, not yet. Wait for her to calm down, and then they can throw treats for her. OK. What kind of dog is that to have? I have a dog that no one can touch and no one can look at. This is a disaster. It's not just Jill who's frustrated with Ginger. I'm never really going to have a relationship with this dog. Can I try again? No. Don't try. Yeah. If you were to She's start looking at her and to engage with her, she'd go for you again. She, she, okay. she was here already once. But wait a second, that's why oh, we have you She heard her she before heard the Okay, now you're on, Jill. Right. Right. So you're now you've got to take control. Another doggy guest means another challenge for Jill. Ginger, <laughs> sweetie, I need you to go back. No, don't, don't say, I need you to go back. Tell her back. Okay, back. 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 Ginger. Ginger. Before Jill can implement Victoria's instructions properly. No, 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 too late. Too late. An eager guest tries to join the party. We're here for the tea party. <laughs> How was you driving from the Hamptons? Uh, so you brought two today. I got my babies. They don't I know go without I each other. They go together. Oh, this you. is Victoria, my Very friend Victoria. Sharon. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pick her up. Put her on the wee wee pad. Couldn't you walk your dog before you get Let's get Sharon. On my carpet? Oh, you got nervous. It's all right. Oh my gosh. I just had my leg like, peed on. Jill, there's more here. All right, Lily, help. I didn't expect the dog to pee on my boot. He just peed on my leg here and here. Dog slobber, pee, and poo. This is a great party. Next time we walk and make sure they pee I and poop. I did pooped. walk them. And they yeah. peed and pooped already. No, I think. They peed and pooped I already. Think... Oh, it's all good. It's a party! <laughs> Look who you made a friend with. Oh, he loves this toy. Oh, okay. They got a lot of energy. They do. This toy. All crazy on the upper east side. In the left, like yeah. With two new high energy guests, Ginger's demeanor continues to worsen. This is a lot of pressure for her. There's a lot going on. Yes, I'm very impressed. It's a whole I too. And that's fine. She says, get out of my space. Get out of my space. To the dog. And the dog yeah. knows what that so means. So you get the dogs out from up, away from her. What do I move her yeah. over here? You can move her over here and just, yeah, make sure that they don't come okay, over. Okay, stay with at least Victoria. I was picking up on body language of Ginger that I had missed. <laughs> Party's over. <laughs> my dog's having a heart attack and needs everyone to leave. And the dog started to go insane. That's when she'd had enough. When she's had enough, you give her her space. She's done really well, but I think we don't want to push it. Great. We don't want to push it. Let's take her out of the situation. I think I'm going to put her in her bedroom now. I think she'd rather be in her bedroom. And I'm going to, this way I don't have to like be rude. She needs to be removed. I don't need to remove everybody. It was a little bit of pressure trying to be nice and talk to everybody. And then at the same time, keeping one eye on Ginger. It's sort of like having a baby. Now I can relax. She's fine. Yeah. She's sleeping. She's yeah. good. But even with Ginger gone, Jill's worries aren't over. He, they heard, um, who's um, who's they Victoria, heard, uh, would you talk to Jade for a minute? I just uh oh, uh oh, they're in my room. Hey, 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 out of my room! They just <laughs> on my floor. Not okay. I had this door closed off. Somebody opened up my bedroom door, which was closed, <laughs> on my floor, and scared the crap out of my dog. <gasps> I think the party's over. I think it is. I don't know if Jill's going to have dog parties in the future because maybe you can control what your own dog does, but you can't control what other people's dogs do. Maybe we can nice. talk about having a, an animal charity event. Oh, oh I'm, I'm right there. All right, let me walk you guys out. So I got a fumigate in my apartment. Oh, a pleasure. Hi. Today was a very um, traumatic day for me. <laughs> 
and my dog, Ginger. That was exhausting. That's even worse than throwing a party for three-year-olds. I think Jill has learned that maybe having too many people or too many other dogs in that apartment is just too much for Ginger.